Місто Суджи, Курська область, 13 серпня, евакуація цивільного населення. Заявки приймаються в дірект соцмереж Instagram, TikTok, або кожен вторник, четвер, суботу о 10-й ранку зустрічаємо людей, забираємо людей з магазину «Лукошка», що в центрі міста Суджи. Якщо ви втомилися від кровавого московського режиму, ми вас врятуємо. Український народ з радістю предоставить вам своє житло на прикордонних територіях Харківщини та Сумщини. Звісно, якщо ще їхні будинки не зруйнувала російська артилерія. Ну а я в даний момент знаходжусь на Донеччині, де ми продовжуємо рятувати російськомовне населення від російських бойовиків. Прикінь. Місто Суджи, Курська область, 13 серпня, евакуація цивільного населення. Заявки приймаються в дірект соцмереж Instagram, TikTok, або кожен вторник, четвер, суботу о 10-й ранку зустрічаємо людей, забираємо людей з магазину «Лукошка», що в центрі міста Суджи. Якщо ви втомилися від кровавого московського режиму, ми вас врятуємо. Український народ з радістю предоставить вам своє житло на прикордонних територіях Харківщини та Сумщини. Звісно, якщо ще їхні будинки не зруйнувала російська артилерія. Ну а я в даний момент знаходжусь на Донеччині, де ми продовжуємо рятувати російськомовне населення від російських бойовиків. Прикінь. Ukrainian journalist Dmitry Gordon believes that the FSB's war with the enemy has reached a new level and the general's revolt is already brewing in Russia. Russian generals whom Putin is arresting en masse are unhappy with the way their generalissimo behaves. He does not allow them to continue to profit from the war but, on the contrary, throws them in prison. They decided to dump Putin. Of course, Gerasimov and the general staff of the Russian Federation knew that the operation in the Kursk region would happen, if even I knew about it. Specific preparations were underway. It is impossible to hide this. Our people were preparing for more than a day or two. Thousands of people were involved in the preparation and this inevitably entails a leak. Gerasimov and other generals deliberately did not tell Putin about the operation. The analyst said during a joint stream with Vasily Golovanov, a recording of which can be viewed on the YouTube channel Dmitry Gordon. According to the expert, similar events took place in 1937 to 1939 in the USSR when a large number of Soviet generals were arrested for stupidity and inability to fight, as well as for terrible corruption. At that time, Stalin, with the help of the NKVD, carried out an unprecedented blow to the army. Three marshals of the Soviet Union were liquidated, Blusha, Yegorov and Tukhachevsky, and along with them the rest of the Red Army leadership were shot, purging the entire vertical. Gordon also expressed confidence that Russian generals who had contacted Western intelligence agencies would sell out the Kursk region and possibly some other Russian territories. Putin will plunge into the slop, lose his rating and protest movements will begin in Russia. Under the cover of the noise, our guys will start hitting airfields and everything else with Western weapons, and Putin will be screwed. Thus, my prediction about the end of the war this year is becoming more and more clear, tangible and understandable, the journalist said. Dmitry Gordon also hinted that the events in the Kursk region are only the beginning. Nothing can stop Ukraine. Russia is likely preparing to launch a massive missile strike on Kiev in revenge for its failure on the Kursk front, the Times reports. In recent days, the Ukrainian armed forces have made significant progress in the Kursk region, which President Volodymyr Zelensky recently indirectly acknowledged. On Saturday, he said that Ukraine is advancing the war into the territory of the aggressor. A senior Ukrainian defense source told the Times that Ukraine expected an aggressive response from Russia in the form of, of an attempted missile strike on important targets in Kyiv. In particular, the Russians could try to attack the Vakovna Rada and other government buildings. Russia feels the need to give a very tough response, something grandiose, to show the whole world that it is all-powerful and that something like Kursk will not go unpunished, the source said. Recently, the Russians had already carried out a test attack with six missiles. Four were flying towards Kiev, two towards Poltava. As a result of this attack, a man and a four-year-old child were killed in the Kiev region. 
According to preliminary data, they were killed by a North Korean missile. The Times source believes that a Russian attack in retaliation for the Kursk region would likely involve far more than four missiles. There could be hundreds using sophisticated weapons, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles and martyrs, and this could be a big problem for our air defense. But I believe we can stop them, the source told the publication. Russia accused Ukraine of committing terrorist acts on Russian territory and promised a harsh response. According to Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova, the operation in Kursk Oblast allegedly has only one goal, to intimidate the civilian population. Having voiced the usual threats against Ukraine, Zakharova began to appeal to the international community, demanding that it condemn Ukraine's attacks.